Welcome. My name is Amina Kate Thornton and thank you for being here on my channel. To get this channel directly, you just have to type in amina.media in your browser and it comes right here. Make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss out an episode. We upload every single week here. So on this episode, we are going to be talking about dispelling beliefs and to see all the other uh, series in this, uh, you can go to the the playlist, the success training playlist. So success training playlist right below. Go ahead and bookmark that. Dispelling beliefs. How do we dispel or how do we embrace new beliefs, right? And so you can look at it two ways. We need to dispel the beliefs we already hold strong onto and we need to embrace the new beliefs. When we deplete uh, we often feel empty and we feel very distraught because we don't have nothing to hold on to. So every time you're releasing old beliefs, you have to fill the void. You have to embrace a new way, embrace new beliefs. So what type of beliefs could you be stuck on? Well, I'll give you some of the ones that I coach people through. I, I coach people, uh, through these most popular dispelling beliefs like this. Money limitations. I can't earn enough money. I cannot earn enough money. Dispelling belief. Why is that? The, the dispelling belief is I can't earn enough money. We are looking at it the wrong way. You can earn whatever you feel you are worth. So if you feel you're only worth your wage that somebody pays you, then that's where you're going to be stuck. That's where your limited beliefs come in. And we need to dispel that. There's many ways you can earn more money. You could sell things. You could take another position. You can get a higher education. You can start your own business. There's a lot of different ways. So to release that dispelling belief on the limitation is that you're not worth enough is you need to really discover you and what you are worth. So you have to sell yourself in believing you're worth more, which you totally are. Remember, money is a byproduct of your skills that are brought to the marketplace. So you just need to figure out what your skills are and... Like anybody, you have a unique path that you've gotten you this far in your life. So what does that unique path look like? Take a notepad, write down what all the obstacles that you've been through in your life and how can you teach others about those obstacles and how can you provide resources and services that is marketable. So you are totally worth more. And you can use your knowledge to prove that to yourself and to get rid of that dispelling belief. You can get a mentor. I do mentoring, I do coaching, but you could get a mentor that's gonna really just push you through. They're gonna give you tools and knowledge that you didn't really discover in yourself until this mentor came into your life and showed you. But it is your job to get rid of that dispelling belief first. When you do that, anything is possible. So what else is a dispelling belief? A dispelling belief is I cannot lose weight. I'm too old. I'm too old to lose weight. I don't know, I can't give up my snacks. Another huge dispelling belief. So when we look at the bigger picture and we say, well, what is really holding me back? Why am I holding on to this mindset of saying I'm too old? I, you know, I've, I've had back injury. Um, I have this issue where if I run too long, my leg locks up. Those are limitations. Those are excuses. It hurts to work out. 
But guess what hurts more? Not working out. I want you to dispel that belief because I want you to be healthy and fit to live your ultimate life. You have to put a driver behind you sometimes. Is there something that you would love to do that if you were the right perfect weight, you'd go do it? I need that why to be huge. I'll tell you one of mine because I've lost a lot of weight in my own journey. And in fact, I'm wearing my supplement company t-shirt and I just realized that. So I'll provide this link to Exotic Ketones, amazing. You can read all about it. You can watch a little video. It'll be in the description. So in my own weight loss journey, I had a dispelling belief too. A belief that I had to get rid of. I gained so much weight when I had my kids. I thought I was eating right. I was eating organic. I was eating all the right vitamins. But it wasn't until I really said to myself, I, I don't exactly know what I'm doing. I need to seek people that actually have the knowledge. I actually had coaches that were bodybuilders. I figured if they can make muscle mass, if they could train certain parts of their bodies to the maximum, maximum, then those are the people I should be asking. And so I started asking questions. I let go of my ego. I let go of my beliefs that I knew exactly what I was doing, eating the right food, you know, eating at the right times, eating the right nutrition, and really just started taking advice of the people that I wanted to look like. So I was overweight. I've lost probably over a hundred pounds three times in my life, having uh, three children. If you add them up, it was definitely over a hundred pounds. But it wasn't until I really released that disbelieving belief that I had a C-section, that I was trying to, you know, be there for my kids. How am I going to go to the gym when, you know, I'm taking care of my kids? You know. How can I eat right when we're always running around between their activities? There's always going to be an obstacle. There's always going to be a limiting belief that's holding you back. So we must dispel this belief to get to your ultimate goals, your ultimate life. So make sure your driver is powerful. You need a powerful driver. And mine was, I wanted to be healthy and fit for my kids. I wanted to be able to run around with them and go to the, the parks and swing on the swings and go uh, mountain biking, go hiking, go swimming with them. And I knew that my weight was holding me back. It was keeping me in this position where I was tired, where I didn't have the physical strength or endurance to keep up with them. So that was my powerful why. So sometimes you have to have a powerful why just to get past that limiting belief. So another limiting belief that I get a lot is that I'm not educated enough. I don't have the right connections. So it must be one of the two, right? I can't get there because I don't have the education or I don't have the connections. Totally untrue. You don't need connections to be successful. You don't need the right people in your life at a certain time to get where you want. That is a limiting belief and we must dispel that. Because when you start educating yourself, when you start looking for resources, You'll be aligned to the same people that are looking for the same. There's many people that will help you on your path. And before you know it, you'll have the right connections because they'll see you're serious. You're going after it every day. Serious people don't take non-serious people seriously. That was a mouthful. <laughs> what I mean by that. For example, say you run a business 
and your employee said he wants to be the the best employee you have in the company he wants to make the most, most money and he's going to do that within six months or less well first week was amazing showed up on time went above and beyond performance wanted to learn everything then the next week came they were a little bit tired something happened at home and they were distracted the performance severely suffered. What does that make you feel? Does that make you feel like he's going to turn around or she's going to turn around and everything's going to be great again? Or does that make you feel like, well, maybe they weren't really serious about it. You know, maybe it was just something they were saying they weren't really wanted, but they are not following through now. They're falling off. Now think of yourself. How many times did you say you wanted something really badly and you just stopped doing it? For whatever reason, something, something came up. You were tired. You know, you were hungry. You know, your friend wanted to go out. You were swamped with paperwork from your job and just couldn't find the time. It's all excuses. It's all belief patterns that tr were trained into you which you accepted as your life. And this is why we're dispelling them. So every time that you come across a hurdle that you can't find a way to dispel it, right? So if we say, okay, if it's weight, if it's money, if it's connection, education, I want you to take a minute and really realize what the thing is that's holding you back. If it's education, there's a library, there's coaches, there's programs. You can go search it online. You can watch YouTube videos. So you shouldn't have this excuse. There's people you can ask in your community. Now you have to make sure that you are asking the right people. Don't ask the wrong people. Make sure you know who you're asking. Because everybody has an opinion. And not everyone is where you want to be. So make sure you're getting your education from people that have the knowledge. Because you see that they have what you want. If you do not have the connections you desire to get the results you want, you can always pay for access. You could always give to receive. You could always do something for somebody that's gonna make them notice you. Who do you want in your network? What are you willing to sacrifice or pay for to get to know them? How can you bring them value? So you need to stop looking at it as a limiting belief, as a belief that can't be conquered and start figuring out the reasons why you have this belief and what you need to do to get it done. So remember, if you run across a belief that you haven't yet dispelled, take a minute, figure out what's your excuses. You can write them down on your paper and literally say, this is silly. Look at all the stuff I've accomplished that I thought was hard at one time. Look at all the places I've been, all the things I saw, I've seen, all the stuff I conquered already. And just realize this is just another hurdle. You must get out of your comfort zone. You must get rid of these limitations and upgrade your life. You can do this. I'll see you on the next video.
Make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications. Take care. My name is Amina K. Thornton.